Hi guys, Nigel here. A very quick video for you here and this is just for the big buff fans that are out there because as you know I'm working on trying to correct these kits and I keep finding stuff. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick video on today's events really. Now I've had a, a message today from Jim and he's basically asked me if I can supply just these pods here um, because the G kit has them too small but he's got a late H. Now a bit of a confusion here and I just want to, I'm still learning and I'm sure a lot of you guys are still learning but I'm sure there's some people out there that know everything. Now I'm looking here in my book, this is the B52 Aging Buffs Youthful Cruise book and if we look in here we've got a H from, this is 600051 and this is from 1986 and we can see that on the back it's got those um, pods there, the larger pods. And we can also see when we look at this one here, this is 1987. And that one's got the pods as well. Okay, another H, that one's got the pods. Okay, that one is... doesn't say. Um, but basically as we go through the book we can see that there's a, there's a G with them obviously. So... But if you look at the late H kit, it doesn't have that shape of pod in that position. I'm not sure if it's ECM or ALQ or whatever it is. Um, I think they're ALQ 117 pods. Now, if we look in this book here, which is Danny Corman's Uncovering the B52H, this is the Bible. Um, we can see on here it's got like a teardrop shaped bulge rather than the that shape there, which is what the is depicted in the model collect kit. Now, I've got an H here, which was kindly bought for me by Barry. Thank you very much, Barry. Um, I'm not going to get out and have a look because I just know it's going to be wrong. They're going to be too small. They're going to be too big. They're going to be too high. They're going to be too low. They're going to be, I don't know, <laughs> probably the wrong way round. So I'm not going to have a look. So basically, if you're doing a late H, it would appear that a H, once the guns were removed, which says here between 91 and 95, would have that. And it's ALK, ALQ. 172 okay so if you are building a later kit also note that horn is the replaced remember we looked at this horn which is pictured do, 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 here we can see that horn there which is depicted on all the kits I think I think it's on the H as well um, it's actually in the wrong position it needs to be moved back but you can see here that on the actual later B-52s, um, on the later H's you can see that's also like a teardrop, so they've basically um, sort of made everything more aerodynamic if you like. So there you are, so that's your little bit there for you Jim, so decide what you're doing. If you're going to do a PSYOP scheme sort of with the rear gun, then obviously you're going to be um, wanting these. If you're going to go for a later scheme without the gun, then go for the teardrop shaped ones. It's up to you. Um, so yesterday we talked about tails and basically I discovered that the, we know that the tail that came in the G, this one here, this is the tail you got in your um, model collect G Old Pro Express and then they did the upgrade set so you could get a different nose, flaps, straightlets, weapons and a tail. So they did the uh, the tail for us of which now I've cut up as you can see I've cut out the the extension. So here, here it is. This is the correct side here. So this is basically a paper pattern of that tail. This is the tail they gave you in the kit. And if you look out here, you can see on the outline, I've got a pencil outline here, and this is actually drawn around the shape of the part. So looking at my photographs and scaling and everything, what I've come up with is this shape here. Okay. So you see the red line there is where. So we're going to hack all that off, which I've already done. So this is the the rear end here. OK, so hack all that off. I'm going to make up. I'm going to turn something up on the lathe to go in there and then we'll blend it all to shape and get it all lovely. You can see that's there. So basically what this is, OK, is an. Is an early G rear end with a 40 inch extension and a change to this sensor here. And I will show you in this book here, which is awesome. This is Aerofax Datagraph 7. And if we go right to the back. We can see here, these are the H's, you can see the Vulcan cannon there. But here we can see the G's, and just make sure you're not all glossed out. This is an early configuration, so you can see we've still got the gun, 
the four guns in there. We've still got the, um, the lookout there and we've got the glazing in there, which is basically an optical window for a television camera system. OK, this is when, where the gunner moved up the front. So and sat next to the uh, weapons officer. So sorry, the electronic warfare officer. So basically you've got a shortened tail. Then when they added loads of gubbins and stuff, um, they added this 40 inch extension. Now, if you look around in, in literature that's available on the internet and in a few books I've got, it basically says that that was actually a constant profile, 40 inch extension. So here it is here, I've made up, this is from the actual kit parts. So this is actually a constant profile now. So on the actual kit, this area on the bottom tapers up, it should be parallel. Because basically what they did was they took the, this is the basically a short, a short early G and then they basically just added a 40 inch extension. Okay, so that should be what you get with a short one and this is your 40 inch extension. So there we go, I've made the 40 inch extension from the kit parts, that's just a piece of blue tack in there for me to hold it and sand it. So that's basically going to go like that. Okay, so that'll sit like that roughly and then that's going to sit on the back there so there's our corrected corrected rear end i've got to add the horn in here and do some scribing and stuff and basically i've also got to modify the gun because that's all wrong as well um it's, it should be um it should sit further back in and it should this here this line here is absolutely fine but we should, should have a, a chamfer on here which is a bit shallower and also this needs to come back in and it also needs to be slimmed down slightly so you can see more of the radius of the gun in behind it. So I'll be doing all that as well and then making moulds for that. So we'll basically end up with a tail that looks right. The other thing they've done wrong um, is, if you remember, it's all gone now because I filled it all in. Same as the early tail here, they've got this great big streak in here it's a great big chine and it shouldn't go beyond that line it's very very shallow if you actually look at these images here that I'll show you again you can see that chine is very shallow and finishes before the 40 inch extension there okay so you can see here it's it's, it's only it's very very long very very short it's not even as long as the actual well, sort of about the same length as the gun barrels so the, the kit is very inaccurate in there so I thought I'd get my early detail out and have a look and see what it's like because I know that it's it's way too tapered in because you can see that the difference here that should be parallel there on the back of those tail planes and it's not so basically it's wrong so I've got two new rear fuselage sections here here's my rear fuselage with my resin parts in it so I've got two of these here so basically I can show you now what I'm talking about so there we go we'll put those two there on the same line okay and then on the bottom one will fit the early G tail. So we know that this horn here needs to be moved back because that's wrong. We know that this is too tapered in because it should be a constant taper. When you actually look at it from the top, you will see that it tapers in. Okay, it's tapering in from this point here. It should be a constant taper like this one is. Okay, it should, oops, flicking things around. It should be a constant straight line, constant taper all the way back to this point here. Um, this one isn't, they've made, they've made it come in so they can try and make this area look better and it doesn't work. So that is our early G tail. Okay, so I thought I'll well, just have a quick look and see what they've done. So if I take the late tail, this is the, I mean, this would be a late or early because it's the same. Um, it's just the model collectors make them different and they shouldn't be. So if I take the late one there, okay, and then I add the 40 inch extension, as we said earlier, that is the later version, okay? But remember, I've shortened all this and everything. So if I basically put that there and move that extension, I should have the same as that. So these two should now be the same. But as you can clearly see, they're not. What model collectors have done, they've realized that this this one here was too long okay if you take it in relation to the fin here and measure it out it's too long so i've shortened it back now you can see that what they've done they've made that the same once you put the the sphere on there it's going to be roughly the same length but they've kept the relationship of the gun 
the same to this. So everything here is wrong. You can see the, the gun on this one. This gun is, if you look at this line here, basically it's sort of a couple of millimetres inside that line. If you look, this one's all moved back. So they've left the gun the same. They've left everything, relationship of everything the same. So it's kind of too long and too short. It's, the, the gun should be further out. Okay, so it's hard to explain. The whole gun should be further out, but it should be shorter. This this whole assembly is too long. So they've got this back here. It's absolutely crazy what they've done. It's it's crazy. So now I'm going to make a new tail for the early G. So if you've got an early G, hang far, I'm going to be making a new one. And what I'm probably going to do is make up, I'll, before I actually put these together and make a mould, I'll probably make moulds of these two sections separate sand off this piece here from the first part and then I can make an early tail which will be in one um, because this part is the same the guns will be the same but this part here is different and if I do it now you might be able to see it even clearer without the guns in there you can see how much further forward or how much further back that is whereas this is all correct okay so um yeah <laughs> just sort of really just um letting off some steam really because uh i mean i was going to look at the h as well but i'm not going to bother i don't actually have an early h i only have a late h i don't know what they've done there but um i'll have a look at that after i've done this but uh yeah thanks for watching guys and if you have any knowledge of any of this then please let me know below um and also this little thing that sits out on the top here this little uh, th somebody said it's the chute for the parachute. It's not. The, the chute for the parachute is back here. It's huge. What I'm talking about is this little thing here and I'll show you in here. There it is there. That's what I'm talking about. That little bit sticking up there and if you see some pictures of of um, G's they have them and some don't. Um, there's a perfect example there. You see that one hasn't got it. And that one has maybe it's all the late ones that have and early ones don't i don't know but uh let me know thanks for watching guys i'll see you all tomorrow and for you patriot guys or patreon patriot patreon guys i'm going to try my artist to get a, a vc10 video up for you tomorrow so uh, i'll see you then bye for now